everybody. Welcome back to Maddie C. Trains. Today we're going to be taking a look at my Pennsylvania Railroad Maintenance of Way cars. Uh, this is going to be a different kind of video. Um, mainly the video is going to focus on the Lionel Sounds car that you see in the middle of the train there. But I thought it would be interesting if I show you my entire train that I use the sound car with. Because all the cars you see here are from different manufacturers. We have K-Line, Atlas, Lionel, and MTH. And it really makes a nice five-car train here that I really would like to share with you all today. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started with our review here, we're going to start off with this K-Line uh, kitchen car. Now, as you can see from just the first glance, there's a lot going on on this car. You can see you got all these windows here. You got all the different doors. There's an operating uh, smoke unit in this. So there is a smokestack right up here where it will emit some smoke. Uh, you have operating marker lights here on both sides of the car. Um, the very nice maintenance of way yellow paint scheme on here. Uh, you got some separately applied grab irons and uh, step ladders here and here. You have a door that opens up here on the side of the car, which is really cool. Uh, that's to get uh, the crews to walk in and out of the car. I find this to be a very unique uh, model because you just don't see this. And any other from any of the other manufacturers, and I just find it very fascinating. So before we move on to the next car, I thought I would show you guys how this car looks when it's lighted up. So here's the car all lit up very nicely. Um, it's a condescent light bulb in this. I probably at some point will upgrade it to LED lighting, but for now it looks fantastic regardless. As you can see, you have the operating marker lights I was telling you guys about with red and green on all sides. It just looks fantastic and very realistic. Uh, you can also see in the car uh, a load of separately uh, details going on in there. There's uh, seats and crew figures that are all separately painted. Just a fantastic car to look at once again. Here's a the side there. You have some legible uh, numbers and so forth and rivets. It's an awesome little car that I highly recommend if you can find one. Uh, again, this was made by K-Line. Uh, and now we're going to take a look at a completely different manufacturer uh, to go along with the rest of the consist. So let's take a look. Okay, taking a look at the next car in the set that I have here. Uh, this is an Atlas box car. This is a tool car, meaning that a lot of times crews on Pennsylvania Railroad or any railroad that has maintenance away equipment would tend to put a lot of their tools and track equipment uh, inside a box car. So they just make it. You know, they don't care what happens to the car as long as they can easily transport all their tools and so forth. So that's what this car pretty much I'm trying to use it for as. Um, so it's a highly detailed car. This is from their master line. Uh, as you can see, again, uh, we have a lot of separate uh, handrails uh, on both sides of the car. You have a uh, separately fitted uh, ladder going up on the top. On the roof of the car, uh, you have se uh, separately applied walkways. That's really neat. Uh, the doors do open on this car uh, to reveal a wood deck inside, which is really nice. Uh, you also have on the other on the other side of the car, you have a brake wheel, um, and you also have here um, some air hoses. And if we take a look at the underside of the car, you can see all that amazing separately fitted detailing. So you have the entire brake assembly here and the air compressors on the other side as well as a look at the overall uh, skeleton chassis uh, of the car which is really nice uh, and you get to see that wood deck I was telling you guys about even better underneath it's a really beautiful car Atlas does a phenomenal job with their uh, uh, line of products I absolutely love their cars um, and that's pretty much going to do it for this car so let's go uh, on to the main attraction all right and now here is probably my favorite car in the entire uh, five car contest that uh, we're taking a look at here today. This is a brand new car from Lionel. Well, more recent. This came out about two years ago or, or so. Um, this is the uh, Lionel kitchen car uh, with sound effects in it. Um, this is an absolutely beautiful car. It's highly detailed. Um, and the sounds are absolutely incredible, and I can't wait to share them with you today. But first, I want to go over some of the details of the car. Um, so as you can see, right off the bat, you have all this awesome 
separately applied uh, handrails going up to the top of the car. You have the step, step shoes here. Uh, you have the windows, which is really nice. They're tinted windows, so you can't see the electronics inside the car, which is very nice. There's LED lights in this car. Um, you have on the top a very nice separately applied uh, smokestack uh, with the uh, support beams to keep the stack up from falling over. It was really nice. The doors do not open, but they are still very cool regardless. Uh, and now let me show you the other side of the car. So taking a look at the opposite side of the car, you can see all the uh, separately applied uh, other details here. You have the separately fitted uh, brake wheel that goes all the way down to the truck, which is really cool. You have the separately fitted uh, ladder going up to the top. You have another look at the awesome smokestack exhaust vent for uh, the, ki the cook inside the kitchen. Uh, it's really nicely fitted on there. It's all... It's made out of plastic, but it looks really cool. And the top of the vent actually uh, changes side to side. You can change which side you want, which is really nice. Um, taking a look at the underside of the car. Once again, you can see all that separately fitted detailing. Uh, the chassis and the brake assembly and the wood deck. Just absolutely gorgeous. So before we will go, go on to the next car here, I think it would be best if I showcase the sounds, which I think is what most of you are here to check out. So let's take a look. So as mentioned before, this is a sound car. And if you are familiar with the Vision Line reefer cars that Lionel's come out with, or the Vision Line tank cars, or um, just any of the new box cars that they've been releasing over the last couple of years... The, the sounds in this car are activated by the motion of the, of the car. Um, or, in this case, this has a unique idle sequence. So, as mentioned, this is a kitchen car. So, this is a, a car you'll hear on a work site. And you'll hear a different, bunch of different guys either doing track maintenance or there's the since this is a kitchen car, you have the cook telling everybody to come and get it, get their food and all that. It's really funny with some of the dialogue. It even has a farting sound because of what they're eating. Some of them are having beans or whatnot. Um, it's a really awesome car. I will demonstrate how it uh, functions right now. So when you turn on the power, you'll get the lights. And if you give it a minute, there we go. There's the farting noises. <laughs> now, this... This sound car also has uh, screeching wheels as well as clickety clack and what's cool is it is that it will go faster or slower depending how fast the car is going so I'll demonstrate that now So that pretty much covers all the sounds. This is an amazing car. I like to put this in the middle of my trains because it just adds to it. And the sounds are just phenomenal. It really brings your train to life in addition to the locomotive sounds. It just makes the train feel more realistic and it's like you have a real train on your railroad. Uh, that being said, let's take out check out the final two cars of the set. Alrighty, so here we have the last two cars of this consist that I want to show you today. Uh, we have here the MTH Premier uh, Crane and Crane Caboose. Um, these two cars do not get seen here on YouTube a whole lot. Um, everyone knows about the Lionel Crane car. 
But to me, I think the MTH crane car is a lot more detailed and a lot more accurate to something you would have seen on the rails back in the day. Um, it's an absolutely massive car. Um, the boom, as you can see, is really long. Takes up a large chart, uh, chunk of the track. Um, the uh, caboose itself is really nicely detailed as well. Um, so let's take a look at both these cars. I decided I wanted to show you guys the two cars in this one shot here. Because this is really how they're supposed to be paired. Um, like it would be on the re in real life. So what I'm going to do here is quickly go over the crane and then the crane caboose. So let's check them out. So as I mentioned before, this car is absolutely massive as you can see. It barely fits on my screen here. Um... It is, to me, a more detailed and more accurate crane than the than the Lionel uh, automatic crane is, in my personal opinion. I've seen this actual prototype in person at the Pennsylvania Railroad Museum in Strasburg, PA, and the model itself is depicted very accurately. Um, you have a loads of separately applied things going on here. Uh, starting off with the boom itself, the boom is massive, as you can see. Um, and then you have the three different hooks here. This hook here that I'm pointing at is functional. Um, the second one is just decorative, and the third is also decorative. Uh, but nonetheless, very cool. You have three different uses of different hooks for different uses on a railroad. Um, the actual chassis itself that you see here is all die-cast metal, so there's a lot of great weight to this car. Um, everything else you see is plastic, but the actual the trucks... And the chassis itself are all die-cast metal, which is amazing. You can see all the separately fitted rivets, the molded in rivets. It just looks great. You have Chris Pennsylvania Railroad lettering on it, as well as a keystone on the boom itself. Um, but what's really cool is in the middle of the car and the rear of the car. So let's check those out. So here is a top view of the boom itself. And you can see there is a lot going on here. Here is the mechanism that goes into the cab of the uh, crane itself, which will allow you to adjust um, how you want this crane positioned because this is locked in. The interesting thing about this car is you get these two porthole windows here. Um, and in the box separately are these two little uh, twist mechanisms that allow you to change the position of the crane itself. Um, in my case, I'm gonna leave it the way it is because I think it's appropriate level. But if you raise it high enough, the latch will open. And the latch reveals the insides of the mechanism. Which is really cool to see that. And then you have all these ropes and wires that go into the cab like you would in real life. The gear linkage and everything is really cool to look at. Uh, you have all the, uh, the support and the skeleton that keeps the boom intact, which is really nice. Uh, the side of the car has all this wonderful separately applied uh, handrails. Uh, the trucks on this is are absolutely beautifully detailed. Uh, you have the safety steps and everything, the Pennsylvania uh, lettering, which is really nice and crisp, and just a really sharp looking car. But what's really cool is the back. So as you can see, the back has absolutely loads amount of detail here. You have the separately applied uh, handrails on both sides here. You have this really nice keystone. Uh, and then you also have a backup light, which isn't functional, but I'm sure if you work your, somebody works their magic, uh, you could probably put an LED in there if you wanted to, you know, spice this whole car up. It's a manual crane. I have to stress that it's not automatic like the Lionel one, but that's okay because I find this car a lot more scale than the Lionel one. Not saying the Lionel one isn't scale, but I find this one a lot more prototypical and it just looks a lot, very cool. But uh, nonetheless, that pretty much wraps it up for the crane. Let's take a look at the boom car. Alrighty, so here is the boom car that pretty much supports anything that the crane wants to put on it, whether it's trucks, uh, wheel sets, or anything like that, or various other tools that might have to be lifted by crane and not by actual people, um, which is really cool here. You can see on the sides of the car, there's all these individually applied uh, latches so this, all of these are different tool chests that have various different parts and so forth for the uh, workers. Then here is a bobber-style caboose office. So you have, again, like on the Lionel car, the windows are tinted. 
to not reveal the electronics or the light bulb in here in this case. Uh, you have separately applied uh, handrails all over the place. Uh, this is a very sharp looking car. It's also fully scale length. Um, if I go around the side panel here, you can see what I'm talking about. Just very, very sharp. Very, very nice. Um, and it complements the crane very well. Uh, but with that being said, that's going to take care of all the cars. So let's run the engine, the whole consist around for a minute. 